here's a recap <laughs> for what we know kind of so far. Mm. This is the things that have been reported, and I'm not sure we're sure of all of this. Um, May 2022, Paul Pelosi was in a DUI car crash. The passenger airbag goes off, even though he was alone. We don't know why. I don't know if that's usual. He pleads guilty on the 23rd of August. On the 24th, there was some random schizo posting that started on a blog that had been dormant for 15 years. On September 8th, the, I think it's Friendly Friends site, is registered in the name of uh, De Pape. He's a hippie, but we'll get into that in a minute. On September 8th, the site is registered in his name. However, there are no posts. On October 24th, loads of posts are made on the website. While posted in October, they're titled February to make it seem like they were much older. Then on October 28th, four days later, at 2.27 a.m., the police arrived at the Pelosi residence for a welfare check. Now, this is... This is what they said uh, at first. Someone opened the door. A third person opened the door for the police. However, they have said, no, that was a mistake. There was no other person in the house except those two. The glass door is also busted. It appears to be busted from the inside. I mean, I watched enough Columbo. Excuse me, sir. One more thing. Wouldn't the glass be on the inside of the door and not the outside of the door. But we don't know what kind of glass it was. We have no idea. Um, Pelosi has a hammer, and when the police arrive, DePape manages to take the hammer from Pelosi and bashes his head multiple times. All of that happens while the police are there. So while pulping Paul Pelosi, DePape repeatedly says, where's Nancy? Where's Nancy? Police take him into custody. Media and the Democrats immediately point to the schizo blog and say, he's a far-right terrorist. Street View images from DePape's home show BLM signs and a Bernie sign. The home is referred to by a neighbor as a hippie collective. In fact, we have audio from a neighbor who is quite clear uh, on uh, who this guy was. Cut one. Our vehicle was out of commission. I was walking past and Gypsy's son was with a small little girl and he was on the bus and the little girl hey, and Gypsy's Stop for a second, were- please. We're going to take this piece by piece. Um, his little girl, I'm sorry, his little boy who was dressed as a girl was on the bus. I just want to just... Keep track of all of the things that you're like, oh, you're clearly, clearly a conservative. <laughs> all right, go ahead. Us and the little girl and Gypsy son were walking away from the bus oh, and the guy remained girl, on the bus. And that's when I recognized his face. That's the only time I ever saw his face was within like the last month or so or a couple weeks. Do you know how long, how he's, how long he stayed during that a couple months no, ago? No, we try to just avoid them at all costs. Okay. Until but, they, you know, bother us. Okay, but so the last time you saw him was a couple weeks ago? Yeah. And he was here for a few days? Yes. Okay. Anything strange about him or anything that stood out? There's something strange about the whole household. <laughs> the entire household is very, very strange. How about him? Um, uh, he is birds of a feather with uh, akin to them. So they are just, you know, nudist drug abusers, and that's who gravitates toward them. Okay, stop for a second. How many times, Stu, at the GOP mm-hmm. meetings have you been to the, where it's attended by all those nudists, drug users? Well, no, CPAC has that part of the, the <laughs> yeah, convention. Yeah, the nudist, the nudist drug part. user yep, part. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Big part there. Yeah, it's trouble when they get those two together. Right. Um, yeah, like, they're usually uh, right near each other, but they do try to yeah. keep them separate. And uh, these, are the, these, these are usually the people that, just to throw people off, have a rainbow flag in the front yard and a BLM sign uh, on their uh, front window. A lot of hardcore conservatives have that profile. Have yeah. They, you know, they just, that's just the way times. it goes. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Next. 
Children, I'm sorry, the children who live there, they seem to be underage or under 18. I'm not sure how old they are. Okay. The kids Mr. Shaken, what's the, what do you say their politics are? Um, I'm not sure. I would imagine that they're more left-leaning uh, because of their support for uh, um, the gay community um, and for, uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> for other people, but uh, it is, uh, now I'm not sure what way to Okay, stop because. for a second. Look at how she is hesitating. She's calculating totally. She's calculating mm-hmm. the whole time because of the rainbow flag, okay, and the BLM sign. So it becomes the gay community and others. Right. You should okay. even figure out how to you say it. Yeah, you can't say it. <laughs> and, and by the way, I don't know what what would you say her ethnicity is. Uh, oh, I, have no I don't. Idea. I, I don't know. White, Hispanic. Right. I, I, I don't yeah. Know. I, I mean, you wouldn't. You would. It doesn't look like. Uh, you know the the typical white Karen that's next door upset about the the no you know, the no no. And she neighbors. talks about her partner. So and I think she says that pretty much everybody in the neighborhood is a lefty. Mm-hmm. So yes, anyway. and of course that's true. Yeah, yeah. in San Francisco. Mm-hmm. All right. Because they have the flag, the LGBT flag with the yeah pot, yeah. So. But any signs of anti-Semitism? You know they are completely unhinged. So I wouldn't I wouldn't be surprised at all. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it. It, they, Completely unhinged. Mm-hmm. Nothing that they believe in aligns with their actions. So they'll say that they are, you know, pro black lives, and then they'll call the police on black people. Mm-hmm. And uh, so n- they don't stand by their actions. Well, don't wait, stand just by so you know, so some parents, those those are not mutually racist. exclusive. <laughs> <laughs> you, you can actually think a black yeah. person is committing a crime right. and still be in favor of black lives. Right. But I do, I think right. I get what she's going it's for. It's like uh, Glenn, George Soros is white. Oh, crap. <laughs> I'm, I should forget whatever I said about George Soros. <laughs> And almost in some psychotic behavior too. Yes. Okay. Was that also Been demonstrated psychotic. when David was a president, or was that yeah. times when? Yeah, it's never changed how they've acted. David acted the same way. Um, from what I saw of him, he he's never approached me or my partner at all. Um, but I've just seen him helping out around the house with like yard work, and then I saw him living on the bus. Um, I've never even heard him speak. Did you know his name, or you just were recognize? I didn't picture? recognize his name, but I also don't know the name of the kids either. Okay, you just recognize his picture from today. Yes. Right? Okay. Yeah. Mm. Okay, so that's who the neighbor says uh, says he is. Now, there's a few questions that have to be answered here. How did he get into the house? How did he get in the house? Did he get in the house through the back door and did he break it? And is that what Paul first heard? Is this a failure of the Capitol Police? Remember, she's under Capitol Police protection, which because she's third in line for the presidency, God help us all. Can you imagine how bad the country would be Mm. if... We have Joe Biden, and then it would go to Kamala, and then she gets sick and dies, and we have Nancy Pelosi. Do we even survive that? Anyway, um, because she's third in line, she has not only Capitol Police, but she has increased Secret Service. Do you remember when we were at George H.W. Bush's house? Mm -hmm. Okay, and remember they had the... um, the sensors on the ground, they could tell where feet were. It, it, it was like a, a little mini um, uh, earthquake detector almost. They, they positioned them all through the yard so they could see and f- or they could hear and see where people were on the grounds. She apparently has that. If she doesn't, then somebody told them not to. To have that, but that's the kind of security that number three position has. So we know because there's we've seen photos this weekend of video cameras. These are high tech. This is government. This isn't like local security. Then like, you know what? I just going door to door selling burglar alarms. This was done by the government. So let's see the tapes. Let's see the tapes. How did the guy get in? Why have we not seen those tapes? 
If you enjoyed this video, hit like and subscribe to our channel so you'll be sure to see similar videos from Blaze TV with the added bonus of signaling YouTube that your voice and opinion still matters. And if you're looking for more great conservative content, check out one of the two videos suggested here. And let's go break.